Please welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is six o'clock, which means it's time for a Magic Live. Now today I'm going to be performing a routine with a deck of cards. Now I this is I, I think of this as a gambler versus magician, and I learnt it from Michael Lamar's Easy to Master Card series. I think it was in the first three volumes. I can't find a reference for this anywhere, so if you know who created this, please let me know below. It is an awesome plot, and it's all about gambler versus magician. I have Jack behind the camera, who's going to help me. Yo. Uh, Jack, so I've got a pack of cards here. Do you know the difference between a gambler and a magician? One's honest and one isn't. <laughs> no, because both gamblers and magicians aren't honest, to be honest. <laughs> uh, the difference is simple, right, Jack? So the difference is uh, a magician, um, they, they want to appear really skillful. So they do fancy cuts and fancy shuffles. While a gambler, they want to kind of hide their skill because mm. they don't want people to realise how good they are so that people bet money and therefore they can scam them out of their money. That's basically what it is. Uh, and I, I'm going to tell you a story about one day when I met a gambler and uh, I told him I was a magician and he gave me a challenge. He said, if you, if you think you're good with the deck of cards, I'm going to give you a challenge. And uh, I said, OK, what's the challenge? And he said, you're going to cut to a card at random. And then you've got to try from the shuffle deck of cards to cut to the other three cards of that value. So if you cut to a six, you've got to cut to the other three sixes. I was like, man, that is not a problem. I could do that with one hand tied behind my back, whistling Yankee Doodle Dandy while jumping up and down in a play pit. And he said, you know what? I'm going to make it harder for you because I'm going to give the deck a very special shuffle. And he picked up the cards. And what he did is he turned half the cards face up. He turned half the cards face down and he actually shuffled those cards face up and to face down. Now, I know you don't know much about cards, Jack, but that makes things a lot harder. Do you know why? Go on. Because now the cards are face up or face down. He said, right, randomly cut to a card. So I just gave the cards three cuts and I cut to a king of clubs. And he said, right, you got to cut to the other three kings. And uh, if you get the other three kings, you're the, you're the greatest ever. If you lose, then I'm the greatest ever. And there was money on the table. So I was like, okay, I can do this. So I had the king of clubs. So I knew I had the other three kings to find, right? So I used my sensitive fingers. I riffled down the deck. I kind of got a rough idea where it was. And I thought it was face up. I cut, I cut, I cut again. And I got the second king, the king of diamonds, which was a big thing for me. I'm like, yes, this is really good. If you think about it, I'm halfway there. There's only two kings left. But with each king, it becomes more difficult, Jack because you have to feel for the right place and the problem is there's only two cards left now in a deck of 50 playing cards it makes it very difficult to cut three times and cut to a king but i managed it and so that left me with one king and you know what i made the mistake of getting fancy uh, I felt like I was kind of just just bossing this. So uh, I got a little bit fancy with that last king and I said, I'll make it visually appear here on three. And I went one, two, three, and I got an ace. I messed it up, man. I messed it up. I got an ace and the gambler was laughing. And I said, but you know what, buddy? I'm not a gambler. I'm a magician. I don't cut cards. I do magic. If I told you I could take that final ace and turn it into the final king, would that be good? And the guy said, yeah, that'd be amazing. I said, yeah. That's what most magicians would do. I would rather take those three kings over there, rub them with the ace and get the other three <laughs> aces. At which point his jaw hit the floor. And he was like, well, what happened to the kings? And I'm like, dude, I'm a magician. If I snap my fingers, not only can I take this deck that you shuffled face up into face down and sort it out, but I can get those four kings right down nice. there in the middle of the deck. That's the king of hearts, the king of clubs, the king of diamonds, the king of spades. And that is why any gamblers out there should never play cards with me because I cheat with magic. I'm going to go hide my wallet. Yeah, I think you should do. Uh, so, the guys, that's it. It's Gambler versus Magician. It's an amazing plot. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. You want to see more videos like this? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with Magic Live. I'll see you.